This screencast is going to look at a fermentation of a cell line. What we're going to do is try to determine the oxygen uptake rate in millimoles oxygen per liter culture per hour. You're given the following information about this bioreactor. We are feeding air into the bioreactor at 0.5 liters per minute and at one atmosphere. That air is composed of 79 volume percent nitrogen and 21 volume percent oxygen. All of the conditions are at 21 degrees Celsius. And the outlet for this bioreactor is sent off to a GC mass spec. And what we're told is that it is 17.3% oxygen, 78.7% nitrogen, and 3.6% carbon dioxide. Again, these are all in volume percents. So we need to figure out how are we going to determine this oxygen uptake rate for the cells that are in this bioreactor. We could do this by performing a material balance. And so we will start with our general material balance for nitrogen. In this case, nitrogen won't react with the cells. It is an inert. So we're going to say that whatever nitrogen is in will be whatever nitrogen is out. For oxygen, any oxygen that goes in, there will be a certain amount that is consumed none that will actually be produced by the cells so n minus consumed is going to be what comes out. We could write the nitrogen balance with the information that we're given. Pretty much the flow rate of nitrogen again make sure to use our correct units it's going to be 79 volume percent so that means liters nitrogen per liter total. This is going to be equal to the same out 0.787 liters of nitrogen per liter. But we don't really know the flow rate out, so let's just call that F out. For the oxygen, we could do a similar balance. And when we fill in all the variables, it should look as the following. So at this point, we could go ahead and solve for our unknowns. First equation, the only unknown we have is F out. So we solve for F out, and you should get 0 0.502 liters per minute. So not much change, but that change is coming from the CO2 produced by the cells. So then we could use that F out variable in our second equation and we'll have an idea of what is consumed. So I've rearranged the equation so that consumption's on the left side. So the in amount of oxygen is 0 0.105 liters per minute and we're subtracting out what's coming out which is 0 0.0868. This should give us 0 0.0182 liters of oxygen per minute that is consumed. If you look at the question, we want an oxygen uptake rate in millimoles per liter per hour. So this is where we're going to use the ideal gas law. Since the ideal gas law allows us to convert a volumetric flow rate to molar flow rate. So if we use the ideal gas law and plug in the values we know, this is all at one atmosphere, we have a volumetric flow rate of 0 0.0182 liters of oxygen per minute. On the right side, we're looking for an unknown flow rate. We'll use the appropriate gas constant, in this case 0 0.08206 liters atmosphere per mole Kelvin. And then an absolute temperature. If you recall, it's 21 degrees Celsius. So 273 plus 21 degrees Celsius will give us our absolute temperature in Kelvin. Solving this equation will give us N, which is 0 0.00075 moles per minute. The question wants it in millimoles, so an easy conversion dividing by 1,000 would give us 0.75 millimoles oxygen per minute. And then we have to convert this to an per hour. So we could go ahead and multiply that by 60 minutes per hour so that our flow rate will be 45 millimoles oxygen per hour. Now at this point we ask ourselves if we're done. We found the oxygen uptake rate. But if you recall it asks per liter of culture. We weren't given any information about how much culture conditions there are. 
But we do know that we could use the variable C for the mass of the culture and the density of the culture, rho call, and combine these to help us out. 45 millimoles of oxygen per hour. We're going to divide that by the weight of the culture, which is in kilograms. And if we divide this by the density of the culture, which is given in kilograms per liter, our oxygen uptake rate will therefore be 45 rho call divided by W. And these units will be millimoles of oxygen per liter of culture per hour. And we do know that is what we are looking for. So hopefully that gives you a good idea about how maybe the ideal gas law might come into play when maintaining the conditions in a bioreactor.